Welcome to the Pathmark Presents podcast. My name is Sean Donnelly Lewis, and in today's episode, we're talking with Margaret Henney. She is the director of marketing at covideo.com. Margaret, how's it going? Hey, it's good, Sean. Thanks for having me here. We're excited to chat with you. All right, Covideo, tell us what it's all about. Yeah, absolutely. So we are a SaaS platform. Um, we're a video uh, messaging platform. So what we do is we allow people sales, marketing, recruiters, a little bit of everybody uh, to record, send, and track their own personalized video emails. So instead of sending your typical email to someone, you'll pull up our software, record a really quick message to them, and send it out. It's a much more personalized way of communicating with people. And now, lo and behold, of course, video is is so much of, of what we do and how we conduct business. Okay. So is this for, is this for every company for, for big companies, small companies or or mom and pop that are trying to, um, yeah, trying to, trying to stay up to date with the, the fast paced changes in the world. Absolutely. A little bit of everybody. So we'll work with, you know, individuals, you know, people who are, are startups or their own business owners, for instance, you know, uh, a lot of people in real estate or maybe mortgage, you know, those people, while they might be under a larger umbrella, they're really kind of their own, own business owner and own entrepreneur. We see them using video a lot all the way up into, you know, larger companies and corporations who might be using it to stay in touch with each other if their offices are all over the country or all over the world, um, or just connect with people in a much more personal way, um, putting that face to a name where, you know, we know doing business in person is the gold standard, but it's nearly impossible. Uh, and what's going on here today, of course, with, with COVID, unfortunately, but even before that, really difficult uh, in terms of time and expense to fly and meet with people. So uh, it's a way where you can be in person with them, but do it, um, you know, over, over email. Very cool. And so how have you guys been able to grow the company? Has it been a lot of digital marketing, inbound, SEO? What, what, which avenue have you guys used? Yeah, exactly. That's been a lot of it. A lot of it has been a little bit more, um, I would call it organic. So a lot of SEO, um, figuring out how people are searching for us. That's always like kind of a weird bit of psychology, right? Like what are people calling it? Is it video email? Is it video messaging? We find that more of it though is going to be kind of uh, at the top of the funnel or higher in the funnel uh, when trying to connect with them and issues that they're trying to solve. How do I get my emails open? How do I get my emails responded? to? How do I set myself apart from the competition? That's where we're putting a lot of our efforts more when it comes to SEO. And a lot of what we do really is word of mouth, because of course, when someone uses our product, it's a very visible thing. So Mm -hmm. they'll use it to sell or promote or market to other people. People will see that and say, wow, that's interesting. How did you make that happen? Um, Because we actually got our start years and years ago in 2004, probably a little bit of a ahead of our time. Um, So we're really unique in the marketplace then. Now video is definitely something that's caught on much more. Yeah, and and the website, what what role does that play in, in growing the business and acquiring new clients? Yeah, um, really, it serves as a, a point of conversion mostly for people. It is, of course, going to answer a lot of their questions. So when we're using our SEO, that's where we're driving people to the main things that we want them to do, though, of course, are either participate in our free trial or schedule a demo to talk to one of my colleagues who can walk them through the product and talk about, you know, maybe what their situation is, what they're struggling with, um, how video can help or, or if it can help. Um, so uh, it's a lot of taking the time. It's it's not as transactional as you might think it would be. It really is a lot of conversations with people and spending time with them to come up with a unique solution for them. And just to just stay on the website for a second, yeah. everybody, everybody loves their website, but it's constantly a work in progress. If you feel like there were room for improvement, would it be maybe the ability to convert customers, quality of leads, user experience? Um, where do you feel like your website yeah, could just use a little extra? Yeah. Oh man, that's a great question. Um, I, I wish I had, I wish my own skills were a little bit more because, you know, we, we do use a WordPress site so that we can constantly and easily make those changes without having to completely redesign it and recode everything. But 
maybe it doesn't have some of the bells and whistles that you might want when you're trying to impress people on, you know, kind of that first interaction. So that's one thing that I would personally like to do. Certainly conversion always um, and getting your most qualified leads. Um, we try to do that through forms, you know, and asking people a little bit about themselves, whether it's their industry or how many people or that sort of thing. But the more questions you ask, of course, the fewer people are going to be converting. So it's always always a little bit of a struggle in terms of the balance between those two things. And coming back to what you guys do, just, just for everyone listening, what would you say you guys do different that helps you stand out opposed to other people that are occupying the same space? We really take the time to practice what we preach. So we preach, of course, using our tool and personalization. Um, you know, there's always the need to scale what you do, which is important as you grow. However, uh, a lot of what's important about using video, what makes it so successful is being personalized and being authentic. So whenever possible, sending personalized messages to someone rather than than just saying, you know, hey, Margaret here, I would say, Sean, thank you so much for your time. It was great connecting with you, really getting as personal and drilled down as I possibly can. Very cool. Yeah. So this is part of the show that I really enjoy. I mean, I enjoy the whole show, obviously. But <laughs> I hope so, it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> but but I like to pick our pick our marketeers' brains because everybody just has these these answers could not be more different. So there's no wrong answer, but but I like to, like I said, just just see see the way that you you view the world when it comes to marketing. So just when it comes to biggest challenges in marketing, if I said a word like innovation, what would you <laughs> say is the biggest challenge for that? I mean, just in general, uh, innovating on your own. So much of what I do is um, taking inspiration from other people, right? So trying to take that and and not do exactly, certainly what our competition is doing or what other people in the marketplace. So I try to have a larger uh, worldview uh, and take cues from people in different industries um, where it might not be all that innovative to them, but it's innovative it, to me and, and what my marketplace is. So so just trying to stretch yourself a little bit more rather than constantly play catch up with people who are in your same space and chasing after that. I mean, you know, you could be doing that forever. So trying to think outside the box and come up with some unique solutions. Yeah, I think I think it's always hard to stay original, not, not because there's so many great people doing so many great things in the same space. Right. right. It's like, oh, I just want to steal that. You know what I mean? But yeah. but I think to an extent <laughs> what worked for them and makes that brilliant, you know, kind of kind of works for them, if that makes sense. You know, I think yeah. I think you're right. Holding that kind of authenticity. This is what we do in, mm -hmm. in balance is always it, 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 I think it's probably the first thing that you could lose. Definitely. When I say when biggest challenge in marketing, when I say ROI, what are your thoughts? Oh my gosh, measuring it. Um, that it sounds like such a silly thing, but you know, it's something that, you know, we know that that is important, but uh, I, I don't know about you, but in my space, it's like, just leads, get me leads, 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 leads more. But it's like, hey, you can spend a lot of time and effort and energy and money on that. And what's coming through on the other side? Are they quality? Are they actually going through the entire cycle? Are we able to convert those people? Um, so measuring that because that process can be so long and there's so many steps and variables, uh, variables involved. I just think measuring ROI in general is, can be a tough game. And if you could, if you could spend your time on one thing to improve the overall marketing process, what would you say is kind of for you stands, stands kind of head and shoulders above the rest, above the rest? Would it be the road mapping, growth initiatives, marketing, messaging, reporting, where, this is like I said, it's just it's just kind of picking your brain. Where do you think I'm where do thinking, you think is, is, is the most important? Making me reflect a lot more too, <laughs> what I would say. Right. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Normally it's just go, 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 right? You're just going, exactly. going, going. You don't have time to think. So we're gonna let you dream a little bit. Okay, I like it. I like it. I would say in a in a perfect world, um, eh, and even the smallest and the biggest companies, I think, have this problem is, you know, making sure that all of your departments are aligned when you're talking about like, you know, sales and the people who are on the front lines and what they're hearing from your customers or leads and what they want and what you're missing, communicating that to your development team. Where is the potential for us to grow? And then, of course, working that with marketing. Hey, where is the potential here? What is our positioning? What is our message? 
we have always been kind of a smaller company and very like bootstrapped and we're just like rapid fire will change directions very quickly um and make decisions very quickly um sometimes that can be really exciting and other times i'm like pump the brakes where are we going with this what's the end goal so maybe a, a little bit more uh longer term planning um and uh and having a goal and carrying it through all the way to fruition and sometimes We'll be like squirrel we're over here and then we're on to something else <laughs> yeah i've worked with big companies before and small companies and there's like i mean yeah i think the more that you see it from the outside the more you think man there's there's pros and cons to both right you know yeah. I mean, like i think i think that kind of well-oiled machine idea of a big company but then not the like you're saying not the able not being able to pivot on a you know, in a moment yeah, not like, a like a small when it comes to companies like that then too, right? You know, it's like, no, our the whole machine is going in this direction and we can't change. And and people get really married to ideas in those situations, even if you are, you know, partway down the path and then you start to think, oh, we can't go back now. Well, yeah, you can. It's just <laughs> feels difficult to do that and pull the plug. Um and and sometimes you need to. With smaller companies, it's easier to do that. Yeah. Yep. I just want to switch gears for a second and talk about you as a leader. What yeah. kind of content do you consume to, uh, to educate yourself and grow as a professional and as a person? Yeah. Um, I love podcasts myself. So that's one of the biggest places that I go to right now. I'm really big. I absolutely love Brene Brown. Um, and she has a podcast and a book called Dare to Lead. Um, and she interviews people from lots of different industries and and they just have great, really unique ideas and perspectives. And it's also really encouraging. I think a lot of times we can get overwhelmed with what's wrong. Um, this is a much more positive focused in, in potential and, and what you can do and the influences you can make, not just like on your company, but on the uh, your team and how you're leading them and how they're growing as, as individuals and, and as business people. Well, we're slowly coming to the end of the show, but before we end, I just wanted to jump into our rapid fire section. Do you feel good about it? I do. I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> All right. So yeah, this, this should be great because you say that you pull from different areas. So maybe this will kind of get you, get some okay. really creative answers out of you. Okay. Margaret, what was the last book that you read? Oh my gosh. This is embarrassing. Now I'm blanking on what it was because I actually stopped reading it um it was called <laughs> so forgettable it was called so. fingersmith it was about um someone who was a thief in england and i thought it was going to be great and none of the characters <laughs> had great qualities <laughs> and i was frustrated with it so i threw it down <laughs> you're gonna get so some people are gonna write you and say that was actually a really good book you should have read it till the end, well. but, yeah. <laughs> what's the single thing that your company is focused on the moment at the uh, the most um innovation in our product if there were no boundaries in technology none whatsoever what would be the one thing you would want to have fixed for your company today this isn't this isn't necessarily technology <laughs> i wish we could be together more you know, yeah. even if that means you know still maybe we're like teleporting to one another, that kind of innovation. I don't know. It would be great because I, I really do miss that, um, that camaraderie and, and the brainstorming sessions and being in the office with everybody. So that's what I miss. What's the last thing that kept you awake at night about your company? Oh my gosh, just my team in general, you know, are they, are they happy? Are they being pushed? Are they fulfilled? Um, do they have enough to do? <laughs> <laughs> Good and bad things. Yeah. If you were to start over again, what would be the one piece of advice you give yourself at your company? If I were to start over again, um, I think I would have done a better job of reaching out to my local community of other marketers here. Um, I'm based in Indianapolis and we have a ton of great companies. Um, a lot of those have been birthed uh, from sales a uh, sales force uh which uh originated here in in indianapolis mm -hmm. we have such a wealth of uh innovators and, and wonderful people here and i think i was really focused on on myself and um probably dropping my guard a little bit more and reaching out to people and saying hey i need some help where should i start great that was Mar margaret henny from um covideo.com
Margaret, the last thing that we do on the show is we give our guests the last word. So if you want to sum up everything that we talked about today, or if you feel like there's something we forgot, I just want to give you the last word. The floor is yours. Yeah, I mean, hey, I'll do what most marketers probably do, right? I'll make a plug. Uh, I hope you check us out at Humble brag. Go for it. <laughs> Video is so, so powerful. And uh, now people are accustomed to using it and to getting it. They expect it. So I would say if you're not using video in your marketing and your sales efforts right now, you're behind the ball, but we can help you out with that. So I hope you check us out and see, see what we can do to help your business. Thanks for being on the show today, Margaret. Thank you, Sean. I appreciate it.